Yes, it's AM Talk, and um, we have our guest in the studio. Peter Tokuno is a Deputy Chief Executive for the National Youth Authority. Thanks for joining me, Peter. Thanks for having me. Ryan. You look uh, as somebody who is in a very somber mood. Yeah, I look very terrified. Very, very terrified. <laughs> <laughs> we have the National Nasara Coordinator of the MPP also in the studio. Uh, my good friend Kamal Din Abdullahi is also here. Hmm. Hi. Roland. Mm. Good morning. And uh, how are you? Um, I'm good mm. and I'm not good. Yes. Um, we, we understand uh, the incident that happened um, following the report we were getting the early part of yesterday morning and subsequently uh, leading to the demise of the chairman of your party in the Upper East region. <coughs> Somebody I also know personally because I reported yeah. extensively in the castle during the Kufo re um, re regime or administration. Mm -hmm. Now, um, w w did you know him personally? Very. Very, okay. very, very close. When was the last time you talked to him? I, um, the evening before the, the unfortunate incident. You mean the, that the evening. evening of yeah. the... The evening of the unfortunate mm. incident. I spoke to him. I think at about um, between 3.44 p.m. there about. But he called me actually then to have a discussion on um, some issues. Then... Um, well, I had also received calls from some, I mean, somebody telling me that he overheard some conversations and all that, that um, we should be careful because um, um, it appears that our disagreements within the party um, is getting murkier and, um, I mean, it's unhealthy and therefore I should try as much as possible to be very protective of my life and all that. And um, whoever also I know, should also be, as it were, careful. So as a brother, when he called me, as a brother, when he called me, I didn't mean words at all. I just told him, look, this is a signal I received. And I thought it's very, very necessary and important that he also, as it were, as an executive of the party, um, try as much as possible to be very mindful of his movement and be very, as it were, um, uh, proactive when it comes to his security and all that. So we, 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 we went back and forth on the matter. And then he told me that indeed he's going to be very careful and about his life and all that. Um, then I told him, above all, be very prayerful. That's what I said. I said, above all, be very prayerful. I, I am. I am very prayerful. And I know that it is only Allah who sanctions whatever. So we had this back and forth. I, um, discussion and then it ended mm. only for me to be called at about 12 midnight okay to be informed of this um, unfortunate incident that he had dropped off he one of his assistants Zach who is also a brother um, to pick his motorbike and go home he stays around Zorongo if you know Bolga very well he stays around Zorongo then Adam stays around the Senate flat you know so he dropped off Zach they were from a apparently they were from a party meeting then Zach picked his motorbike and he said okay he was going home and that's about 11 something so on his way according to the reports that I got from Zach you know he got to, to Senate Junction to just negotiate the care for mm -hmm. interest. then he was stopped by some two people then he packed, rolled down his glass to talk to them. Got one was try talking to him. Then he rolled down the glass to talk to, to listen to what. Immediately the glass went down. Then they poured the substance on him. They splash. Then they ran away. They bolted. You see, <laughs> that's actually the, the account I, I got. But when that happened, he also moved. He drove off because apparently when it came on him, he had to. So he moved and drove straight. Go from there to the house, I should say it should be about where I know if I'm if my measurement is right, it's about 250 meters or 300 meters. No, well, it's not, not, far it's not too far if you know that. So he drove straight, he tried driving, struggled with the, 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 the heat like that to pack. So when he packed, he was shouting, you know. Then the wife rushed out, the wife also tried to hold him. You know, the chemical was so powerful, affected the wife too, as well. You get what happened? I mean, so. Both of them, you so know. So it means the so wife too is bent. Yeah, kind of. She's got some bends on mm -hmm. her. She was, but she's. I'm told she's been discharged because she didn't actually have so much. But she's got some bends on her. That's what I'm told. That's the report of her. So they rushed all of them to the hospital. You know, they shout and everybody came out at the estate and all that. They carried 
the, him to the hospital. But at the emergency ward, in the presence of all these guys they had called, and presence of police, he was talking. He chatted with them. Then one eye opened. He said, other eye that one went a bit damaged. But I'm told one eye opened, clear. Even at the hospital, he could see. Then he said, oh, is that what this person and that person has done to me? Maybe I will die. But I don't know what will happen to them too. So he, Those, he, these he, were the comments he was making. So it means he knew that he people. knew. He mentioned names. He saw the people. He saw the people. He mentioned their names. Two of them. You understand? But uh, not to impede investigation. I wouldn't okay. like to go deep yeah. to right. mention names and all that. Um, so that went on. He had a conversation even before his demise. About I think he 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 died around in the morning somewhere between five thirty six seven coming. Well, I um, you mean I he had died, a call. He died in the hospital when that, he was that very morning. That before very morning. we went on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I he see. Went, he died around eight thirty. He died. No, he died in that the was, morning. That around was eight something. Oh. But before that, around five thirty six. Okay. I was told that he got up and said he wanted to pee. You know, I was frequently on phone. Well, I'm very close to him in a way, and all the guys who are close to him, I'm very close to them. Usman, Zach, um, talk of Tofik, all of them are they are well like brothers. And Adam sees me as a younger brother. Clear, I'm telling you, it's not about working relationship. He sees me as his younger brother. When I'm there, he says, Look, you represent the north, the upper east in uh, at the headquarters, and I represent the upper east at the regional level. You know, I'm from northern Ghana, I'm from northern region, I'm actually in Dagomba, but I was born and bred in Bogatanga. Upper East. So the Upper East see me more of like them. of them than even because I have not lived in Northern region. Mm -hmm. You understand? So Adam saw me as a younger brother directly. There's nothing I would need. There's nothing he wants that he tells me and it will not be done. I also need something it will not be done. Frankly, is he? But we've lost a very huge pillar of the party. He that told when you go to the Upper East, that's what's sudden more. When you go to Upper East, you don't even hear anything about MPP that much. But ever since the man became a chairman of the party, trust me, you could feel the vibrancy. You could see how he was actually, you know, galvanizing support for the party and all that. But all we will say is that um, Allah wills and it happens. So sometimes death occurs, even though it's as a result of some mis some unscrupulous, some evil minded people, but it is Allah's will. Because Allah has said in the Quran that nothing happens without he sanctioning it you can come with your whatever and whatever if he says it will not work it will not work so maybe allah has given him his time so all we can say is inna de la wa inna ilayhi rajaun inna de la wa inna ilayhi rajaun inna de la wa inna ilayhi rajaun which means to he we belongs to and to he we shall we shall return whether you like it or you don't like it you will go you can perpetrate any heinous crime but remember your time is also coming you will surely die and you would have an account to deliver that is what consoles me you know in islam i don't know of the other christian faith or the other faiths when someone is killed or dies out of a painful death we call it a death of shahidi a death of shahidi is like someone who has died and you can be told or you can see say that somebody is going to answer questions for his death because there's direct action that caused resulted to his death maybe allah who is all <coughs> forgiving is going to forgive him and get you to answer your question mm. so those who did that you will come out right. allah will come out so 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 now wh what really is a i know that a number of meetings have been organized we've had uh, yeah. the, the first one led by the vice presidential candidates yeah. the flag bearer himself in germany is cutting short his trip mm. uh so as an executive what, what what is the intervention or what steps are you taking currently i left my home around 2 30 to the vice presidential candidate's house when it happened um reason being that he's a nordner I'm a Nordner, he's a Muslim. Adam, who is was affected, is also a Muslim. So I saw it's more of a Northern thing. Indeed, my chairman is a Nordner because I couldn't reach him then. But I was able to reach him on phone. Then he said, come to my house. You understand? So I quickly rushed to the house. Again, as the, vi the presidential candidate was not there, the leader of the party wasn't there. Obviously, we will see that the vice presidential candidate will be there. Kind of. So I rushed to him. Then I told him, look, this is the news of had. He said, yeah, that's the news he's also had. We sat down. So we quickly put our heads together and started communicating. He did, look, he did a lot. That man did a lot. So the party came later. We had a meeting. We spoke to each other until um, 
uh, you know, uh, that thing happened and the family decided that, okay, they will see how they're going to plan towards it. But once there's some criminology attached to it, we will need the consent of the police and all that. So we are planned and we are waiting for the family to help us. Peter, your, your initial comments and, and then um, following all the things that have happened, we've had uh, follow-up comments from strong people of the party. Uh, we have a member of parliament for, uh, is it Boko? Uh, that uh, Dominic Nitewo? Uh, no, no, member of the for Bimbila. Bimbila, sorry. Bimbila. Bimbila. And he's the deputy majori uh, minority, minority leader. leader. Also, making some strong words, being supported by uh, a founding member of the party, George Isibuating, who is saying certain executives and so forth need to be indicted or perhaps need to resign so that investigations could be conducted. I mean, all the follow up issues that have come up. Uh, Ro, um, I think that this is a very sad moment for our democracy. I feel very terrified. I have not been able to recover from yesterday. Because what has happened in the MPP is not a thing for the MPP alone. It's something for our democracy. And if you sit by on consent, it will soon catch up with you. And if this thing is happening in the MPP among themselves, then you in the opposition party or you you in the other party you should be very scared because then it can easily be you know perpetuated on you i think that these are moments where we have to be very very calm and very very sorrowful we should commensurate and um, sympathize with the family and um, extend our deepest condolence to them give them the support in these trying times because it's a very very trying moment Having known and read about Adam Mahama, um, he appears to be a very good man, you know, a philanthropist. So, like a so he has he has a lot of benefactors, and and it's it, it's it's a time that we need to you know um, sympathize with the benefactors as well. But Ro, I I see this matter also as a product, you know, of uh, two variables. Hmm. You know, first variable. I think that is a is a function of leadership crisis. Second variable, the failure of society. And third variable, the crippling intolerance in our democracy. Team. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> you find no, when, 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 it, when, it it, no, when you are drawing models, no, when you are drawing no, models, no, you always have an error, ahead, 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 society, an error sorry. model. <laughs> First, leadership crisis. I think that just after the Congress of the MPP. That was when this thing started. We heard Bugrina, the Northern Regional Chairman, saying that they have met in the Flabberry's house and they have decided to sideline the Chairman and the General Secretary. And I thought that when that issue came out, they would have quickened their resolution to that matter. But it didn't end there. And just a few weeks afterwards, they had hooligans carrying cutlasses and clubs, chasing the Chairman and the General Secretary in the office. You understand. So then it raised a lot of eyebrows and we should we should have quickened steps to resolve, you know, that kind of occurrence. That did not happen. So then what it meant was that party executives who have been elected for general secretary and chairman, they feel worried. Now you have the case whereby they start their primaries. Chairman and general secretary put measures in place to undertake the primaries. They immediately move out of town. And they organize a meeting without their presence to discuss the same things that they think that they have worked on. It generates some heat. Now, the chairman and the general secretary decide to embark on some regional tours across the country. Goes to about six regions. Now, on their seventh region, they get there and they are chased with cutlasses and, and clubs. Mind you, these are people who were elected for. They have sympathizers. They have people who support them. So when these things become recurrent, so you're saying that the leadership, leadership have moved to keep very well, and leadership do not even openly condemn such actions, speak against such actions, take steps to resolve and get them the the the, the, the perpetrators to even apologize, then it means that you are failing completely as a leader. You understand? So this has gone on, and it has infuriated people who supports those people. Two. I think that society has failed all of us in this matter. I have on several occasions raised the issue that when such incidents occur, okay, or near, to, yeah, sure, you, would, sure. you certainly have. When issues like this occur, people chasing others with cutlasses and so on, you know, insulting people here and there, 
and it becomes that murky. We expect society, we expect the civil society, the clergy, and so on and so forth, to come out and openly condemn some of these things. Here we are. I have made that call several times every time I have the opportunity, calling on civil you society to take action. You have a minute. But you see, we have, we have failed as a society to condemn such actions. And this is the end it has taken us. Now, I, I, I made mention of the fact that, you know, as a people, if we don't rise together, if we don't unite in condemning comments that are very unpalatable, that are unprintable, that are very, very uncivil and on 21st century, and we continue to sit aloof and say that, oh, this is a, these are politicians, this is a political matter, let's not deal with it. We will come to this. We will come to this. Right. We will certainly come to this. Peter. Yes. Your response, um, I give you three minutes. Yeah, first point. and foremost, if you say, or uh, if I hear Peter say that, yes, um, some happiness in the party, uh, leadership have actually sat um, quietly or have remained silent and not taking action. Taking action. action. I disagree with him. The very people he seeks to speak in their support. If it, 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 it is an analysis. My, of course, if I'm making my deductions from his um, sessions or analysis, mm -hmm. you realize that the general secretary and the chairman, okay. He has been quite sympathetic towards them in terms of his analysis. Excuse okay, me, well, but yeah. because you did say that yeah. some were chased with Katlasi or they were chased with Katlasi and all that, and that leadership were quiet or never did anything about, about it. The very persons, the German and General Secretary, keep on saying that their relationship with the leader of the party, Nanado, is excellent. They have always said it. So where is this analogy? Where is this assertion? You understand? If they say, that they have been they chased and there's this they and were then chased. Nanado is there are pictures absolutely and there are reports but the same the very same people especially Kobnia Japan comes out to tell you that look I have a very excellent relationship with the flag bearer we have a good working relationship sorry I gave you three minutes though, but let, let, one, let, two. let me just make this very intervention well. um, the, the, the reality of the situation is an incident happened yeah and it was a public issue mm. but publicly the, the, the public doesn't know that any remedy has been taken to quell yeah. or perhaps rebook mm. those who may have... Yeah. I was just coming to that. Okay. You see, managing a political party, these machistas and catalysts that he's talking about that they were attacked at the party office, by then, Nanado, with all respect to Nanado, Nanado was not elected. There wasn't a flag bearer for the party. We had only a chairman and general secretary and some of we the He has not made reference he, to Nanado. No, he has not. He's talking leader. Please, I speak, he's speaking in context, and we should understand it and take it. I'm you were sure making reference to Nana. No, I'm not I, sure. I, 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 I made reference to Nana. He said, no, he's not saying leader no, of the party. Him. Leadership, who's the leader of the party? Yeah. Nana is the leader of the party. All right. you, you get what I mean? So before that, that was the change of security that you brought about the blue haha in the party, at the party office. Yeah. Of course, uh, our leader, the leader of the party was not then elected. We hadn't got a leader then. Okay? We had a national chairman and we had a general secretary. But you see, I've always said this, Roland. Honestly, self-introspection is very important in every facet of life that you find yourself. Why are these people against me? Why have I taken a step and I'm against? I'm being, uh, you understand? L go into yourself and look at yourself. And I've always made this point. Collegiality, collectivity in pushing a political party is the only agenda you can have. Look, and when he talks of violence and narrative, it is not only MPP you see some of these things. I remember in 1992, Alaji Isamuru, Western region, he was burned to ashes, the chairman of NDC. You understand? It's still fresh in our minds. It's look whether it happened in MPP, it happened in NDC. Let's holistically condemn it and move on. But if you seek to make political capital out of it, if you can't do this and trying to draw inference, it is unfortunate. A point Let's move on. Now we've had a founding member of the MPP. Yeah. Um, George E. C. Boati. I know him very well. Very well, he's I based, do know him. He's based in the Ashanti He's region. an excellent man. I have yeah. to talk to him a couple of times as well. Yeah. But even this one being backed by no meaner person than the deputy minority leader, yeah, uh, Dominic Nitewo. Yeah. That we should have the chairman and uh, the general secretary, perhaps, uh, I don't know whether to be interdicted or set, set themselves aside for investigations to go on. Is right. that is you know, uh, yeah. is that self indicting that, well, they are being blamed for what happened. I frankly have not heard him make a categorical well, statement have. like you have. Very good. And if he made it, you should understand. Um, I think that the rules of natural justice, fairness demands that if indeed you are fingered in any, Who and has I'm not been sure. Fingered? Excuse we've, me. We've had reports. Excuse me. From the media. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm making a point. If indeed you are fingered, okay, either by inference or directly, or either indirectly or directly. On an issue okay your conscience should guide you to say that no 
That is why I enjoy the developed countries. This thing won't happen. Their conscience will guide them. They say, look, if only my brother or something something has been mentioned in it, please, and I'm in office, if the investigation is going to go through the office, I will prefer... <laughs> but you're not doing the investigation. However, the police are doing the investigation. investigation. The point is that if we've not gotten there, um, I believe that the minority leader is an individual. He's entitled to his opinions as a person. Okay, he can make it. AC Boateng is an individual. He's entitled to his opinions and all that. But we'll look at it. He's not made a statement that is supposed to be binding on the party. He's not made a statement that is supposed to be binding on MPP as it were. You get it? He's made a personal statement, if indeed he said so. You get what it I mean? That's a very sentimental should, statement. Uh, it, it does. It, it, it is. But then that is why I'm saying that we should allow the law to take its course. Investigation will go on and we'll move on. I can say whatever I want to say. You can say whatever I want to say. But my appeal is that we shouldn't say things that would impede the investigation. But he's, uh, he's an individual. Peter, sorry, yeah, I'll give you only two minutes on the subject. Bro, that would be unfortunate. Uh, you <laughs> gave him three uh, minutes to respond to me, anyway. and you gave him additional minutes. <laughs> Kindly extend that to me. Peter, minutes. you've it's always complained for time. Uh, always no, complain. <laughs> um, I, I think that, you see, the as I said earlier on, this is a purely leadership problem. And I would tend to agree with uh, 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 my brother, Kamal, and George A.C. Martin and Little, that uh, if people by inference or by deductions or by assumptions are felt to be culpable, uh, are felt to be, you know, part of the problem in, in this occurrence, those people, the humble thing to do is to resign. I, I, I subscribe to that analogy very, very, very much, 100%. And I think that okay. uh, in that same regard, leadership consists of uh, the, the, the flag bearer, um, <laughs> so the, the chairman, the general secretary, mm -hmm. even Kamal himself. I think they have all filled and block, and they must all resign so that you know they can have some peace in their lead party. Itself. <laughs> yes, I mean, I mean, yes, because I mean that analogy is perfect by all of yeah. them. You know, their deputy minority leader has made that analogy. A founding member, including Kamal. So you're himself. saying that if they are saying yeah. the chairman and general secretary, have failed, then all of them, then all of them, all of them, all of them should resign because clearly by deductions by inference, by all uh, 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 extent of uh, analogy, the leadership is a very weak the position you No, very please, weak please, position you no, please, please. The, 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 and and <laughs> if there is anybody to blame at all, if there is anybody who is going to take majority of the blame by deduction or by any analogy, I think the flag bearer takes more. Let and, me. And, and, and that that brings no, me... No, please, no, no, no you allow me. I will not allow you. Come on, no, I'll no, you. What no, you are doing please, is... Come on, come on. Come on, I, come on, and I will not allow you. Come on, I, I, I think that I okay. think that you need to show some well, respect land, to our land viewers. Let's go on. You land. Perfect, wow. exactly. So clearly, leadership has failed, and the leader of the party is the flag bearer. You understand? So you can't say that the chairman should resign. The How do you link this to, to the resign. flag bearer in the first place? You, it is directly linked to the flag bearer because That's one. All, the, all, they, all, all, all the cutlasses and the chases that have me. gone on is because they have said that you they are not going to please relax. The Northern Regional Chairman, recall, on a tape, has said that the Chairman and the General Secretary Peter. are going to be excluded from all political activities, and they had met in the flag bearers' and house. So, now, this traces, all, this right. traces all the actions Don't, against Peter. the General Secretary. Okay. You know, yesterday, your Peter. General Secretary, your General Secretary, John C. C. Dinkatia, said, you communicators of the party, the NDC, and indeed appeal to all other communicators of political parties to tone down their sentiments and try not to make political capital out no i think I'm, I'm not making any political oh, capital i have just yes. done my analogy along these lines and, and i'm just being fair i'm just being fair to the analogy i am questioning the linkage mm. eh? you, you, of you don't think why do you want to put the flag on the side and attack the chairman and the general secretary let me ask you why it's not fair be a gentleman i i i read a story on my journal online saying that i mean quoting the chairman or paraphrasing what the chairman said, that his brother indeed is innocent. Yeah. I read the story on my journal. Well, I, I didn't read it. I well, listened to him. Well, I, okay, you listened to it. I read the story. <laughs> so if the chairman, national chairman says it, indirectly or directly, there's some linkage. Okay. Are you getting my point? That's the point we're making. I have not heard or read any statement from Nanadu saying that my so brother... What is the linkage to the general secretary? What is the linkage to the general secretary? I want to, I want to unearth your mischievous way of, you know, uh, handling this matter. And I'm saying that I've never heard the flag bearer, who is the leader of the party, okay, linked to this matter. However, the chairman himself has come out to say that my brother is innocent. Listen, it means there's no blood relation there who has been named. Okay? So and we are talking about secretary? conscience. Wait a minute. What are We're the talking about conscience. We're talking you about are saying conscience. she wants to resign. Again, again, again. 
what happened in um, Upper East Region, to a very large extent, okay, if someone is going to investigate it, would not forget of what happened when Indeed, they Indeed, the police have said that. You understand? They will, not, you will link it to what happened before this. And that one also involved the general secretary. It involved the general secretary. So, you see, let's be smart okay. when we're making analysis. Right. So, and you're saying... This so, so that you can link that Peter, to the tape as well. Peter, from Peter, 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 from Peter, saying that they have Peter, taken Peter, the decision Peter, that they are talking to very decent people. No, I think that's okay. Peter, that's okay. Peter, that's okay. Our viewers are very smart. That's okay. They are very smart. Come on. So, now... Uh, so the objective of the party now is to get investigations undertaken. Absolutely. Okay. So after the inve investigations are done, what, what, what in the interim is the party going to do to make sure there are no reprisals and things like that? Um, we know security has been beefed up, but as far as this is concerned, a, a life has been lost. Yeah, absolutely. And yesterday there were snippets of tapes yeah. from the scene mm. of when the death was reported outside the hospital. Yeah. And I, I can bet you I had a lot and bad. things like that. Yeah. It's uh, I, 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 the advice uh, Oh, oh please, yes. Peter. Peter, it doesn't matter. There could see, be reprisal. When, 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 when. Peter, cool it. Yeah. When an issue like this happens, you expect we are human beings. There's no way, you know, emotions will not actually be stirred. People will get hurt. People will be worried. And you know what happens when anger is filled in human? He talks or he spews us whatever he wants to say. I am telling telling you that we we as a party, you know, executives, we have all come out to appeal for calm, appeal for peace, and all that. We've also told the police to do a diligent job. So I believe that the party, indeed, I believe that the party is working towards it. We are appealing and we are going to. And again, to just learn what we, what do we expect? We have a constitution in the party. Peter mentioned that we had a meeting somewhere. Which meeting was an emergency steering committee meeting? Constitutionally grounded. Constitutionally grounded. He should go and find out. You so let us not be mistaken. Okay. I know you were in that meeting. I just want to know that the meeting that we held or whatever that we are doing is in conformity with whatever the party law says. All right, let's you move on. Let's, let's move the subject. Let's move the subject.